Okay, all you iPad fans, DaVinci Resolve fans, there it is, DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. It's out there on the App Store. I'm going to show you how to install it, show you a few features of it, and we're going to get accustomed to using it. Uh, the iPad has always been one of my favorite devices. This is my 12.9 2020 iPad Pro. Uh, it's a little limited. It doesn't have the M1 or M2 chip in it, but uh, works pretty good. So let's get to it. I'll show you how to install it and uh, where it is on the App Store and we'll look at it. Y'all stay with me. Hey everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Hope everybody's doing great. Let's get to it. So I got my iPad Pro. This is my 2020 model. And what I did, I already had DaVinci on here. But I'm going to show you where to get it how to install it so let's switch over to the iPad Pro I'm trying to capture it on my screen right here so my, my aspect ratio is a little bit off on it because I'm capturing it at 1080 but we're gonna get to it so let's all click on the App Store and I'll list uh, all the devices that this is uh, able to use or all the devices are able to use this app so let's go to search and let's do DaVinci Resolve for iPad. And there it is right there. We're going to hit go. Now if you click on it, you can go down here to more and it'll tell you all the, the things that you're able to do with this. You can see all this different stuff. And it's two gigs in size, uh, age is four plus, so I can do it. So it's downloading now. It'll take just a few minutes. I'll, I'll speed you through this. All right, that took about three minutes. We're gonna go ahead and hit open. Now, one problem I had when I first downloaded it last night, uh, it would crash every time. And I, I looked and it um, it had a thing where you had to d delete it and reinstall it. Okay, so when you first open it up, if you don't have an M1 or M2, it's gonna give you this disclaimer that some of the features will be missing with this iPad due to memory limitations, which I think I have six gigs on here. You can have up to eight gigs or 16 gigs, depending on what model you have. But I haven't seen any issues with it so far, but they do recommend having M1 or newer. So I'm gonna tell you, don't show it again and hit okay. This is the NLE, this is your user interface for DaVinci. And you have the cut page and the color page. These are the only two they give you now. Now this has just been released. So I mean, there's gonna be a lot of features uh, that come out. They wanna make it touch friendly and the um, edit page on the desktop version is not touch friendly. I don't have an Apple Pencil yet. I, I have one on order. I've never had to have one until now. Now I really want one. But you can go ahead and uh, import media. But we're gonna start right here on the home screen. We're gonna to touch the home icon down here. And this is gonna give us our project manager. So you can have a local database, a network database. And if you'll see a network database installation, I've got a, a video on that. Or you can use the cloud. If you have an account, you can go in and pay the $5 and have a cloud account. But I'm gonna start off with the local. And I'm gonna type new project and we're gonna say test project. Create it. And it's just that fast. This machine is so fast, that's what I like about the iPad. If I wanna import media, I can get it from a, a desktop, a Macintosh, Windows, Linux. I can go to my NAS, I can get it from that. You know, I can go to my video projects folder on my NAS and I can get it. Or I can get it on my iPad. 
or that's not what I want to do. I can actually import it from my photos and go to my videos. Let's just grab this one real quick one here. And it's just that fast where I can pull this down. And there's my video. And if I wanted to put the audio in it, well, I'm not capturing the audio. That's why it's not playing. Okay. So, but that's how easy it is to get started. You can start making your cuts. You can do all kind of uh, different color options. You can change the audio. You can open up the inspector and you can zoom in, zoom out, crop do speed changes, you can change your audio, you can add equalizers, the whole bit right here on the cut page. Now if you want to go to the color page, you can actually go here and you can make all kind of changes to your color. You can blur, you can uh, change your the way your color looks. So if I want to go here and change how my color looks, you know, if it's too bright, I can bring it down. I can bring my highs and lows down. You can add LUTs. You can do all kind of stuff with it. And this is just me downloading it one time last night and playing with it a little bit. And it, it, it I mean, it just works really well. And there's my Gretchen sitting there fussing at me. So, so there you have it. DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. I think I'm going to like it. Um, we're going to make a whole bunch more videos on it. I'm actually going to edit this video on it. And I'm going to make a video of editing the video on it. Now, the only thing I haven't been able to do with it so far is actually use my green screen callouts. Uh, usually, I would do that in Fusion and remove that with a Delta keyer. I haven't figured that part out yet, but hopefully that'll be coming soon. And there's just a tremendous amount of videos out there already, people using the beta and the, the public release. And um, so far, people seem to like it. Uh, like I said, the iPad's always been one of my favorite consumption devices, and uh, this will make it even better. So anyway, Hope y'all enjoy this. There's going to be a whole bunch more videos. If you get, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell to be notified. And I uh, hope you're doing well. Hope y'all are having a good week. And I hope you have a good weekend. And like I always say, until the next video, thanks for watching.